Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, a lot of people were taking advantage of the new rules and regulations regarding rebooking and canceled cruises. Well, Royal Caribbean just made another change. While they're making some things much easier, this could affect some people's decisions on when they're going to book their next cruise. So one of the things Royal Caribbean introduced was their lift and shift. And lift and shift basically meant that at any time you could call before your cruise and say, I want to move this to the exact same cruise or another ship over here. And you could just take your whole thing and move it over to another cruise on the same ship, later dates, things like that. Move it to another booking basically. And there's no penalty fees and no nothing like that. And your price was protected as well uh, in a lot of the cases. So that seemed like a great idea. So people were, were keeping their bookings and booking in and they'd say, you know what? Uh, we're supposed to sail in four months, uh, final payments coming up, but I don't think, uh, I don't think that looks like it's going to go. I'll move it out four more months and then they'll do it again. And then they'll do it again. Well, now Royal Caribbean has said the lift and shift is still there. It's still there. The trouble is now it's only going to be when they cancel a cruise. So if they don't cancel your cruise when your final payment is coming due, you still have to make that final payment. You can't do the lift and shift anymore. And right now, uh, you know, they, they're, they're taking a little bit longer and a little bit longer to cancel cruises. Uh, it, you know, they used to be canceling, you know, three months out, four months out, and now they're getting much, much closer to your final payment date. So, but if your cruise is canceled, you can lift and shift to another booking with no penalties, no fines, etc. All that good stuff. But a lot of people were using this, for instance, Alaska, right? Alaska's so up in the air. What do we do? Uh, well, don't worry, because, you know, I can just lift and shift it at any time, you know. But now, what happens if you are in your booking and you're ready to, you're getting closer and then, you know what, that sailing is actually going to go. That ship, here we go. Cruising's restarted and everything. We're finally going to go. And then they say, oh, but by the way, you have to wear a mask. By the way, the town in Alaska, you're not going to be allowed to tour in it. You are also not going to be allowed to do this. You're not going to be allowed to do that, etc. A bunch of things that you're not happy with to enjoy your cruise. You say, well, you know what? Alaska is like an outdoor nature thing. And I don't feel like wearing a mask in nature. And I don't feel, you know, like I, you know, whale watching is not going to happen or whatever it is, whatever the case may be. Uh, just being able to wander around a town in and out of stores, if you're not allowed to do that, can be... A, a big turnoff for a lot of people when they're cruising. So you would say, well, I'll just lift and shift it to another date. Well, now, unless that cruise is canceled, you don't have that privilege of lift and shift. So if you have a non-refundable deposit, you don't get your money back. Uh, if you have a refundable deposit, then you've paid a little bit more, but at least you can get your money back at that case. They're making it a little more difficult for people just to keep booking over and over and over and over again, one month out, one month out, one month out, one month out. Because a lot of people were doing that. You know, they'd, they'd book something for October and then they'd say, oh, the October cruise is canceled. Okay, I'll book for the end of November. Oh, the November cruise is canceled. Okay, I'm gonna book January 1st. And it's just more and more paperwork, bookings, and more work that they have to keep track of. And they have to link every booking that you've canceled to each other and backtrack it to make sure you're doing the lift and shift and all it, it, it just becomes a nightmare in tracking and trying to figure out who deserves what and what you're supposed to get so beware now cruise lines different policies every cruise line has different policies now so if you're going to make a cruise find out exactly what the current cancellation policy is because you don't want to think that it's something and then you're booking it. Well, you know, seven months ago, I heard that lift and shift. You can just do this. And now all of a sudden it's not there for you, even though you want to do it. 
So your booking's not as secure as you were thinking it was going to be. So always check right now, especially if it's refundable. <laughs> Number one, if it's refundable and what the cancellation policy is, because then you are informed about what your alternatives are if you don't want to go on that cruise or you can't go on that cruise. So that's where we stand right now. Always, always double check those policies. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.